Today we will be dealing with concurrent forces. The aim is to find the weight of a given body using parallelogram of vectors. The theory is that if two forces acting simultaneously on a particle be represented by two adjacent sides of a parallelogram, the resultant is represented in direction as well as magnitude by the diagonal of the parallelogram which passes through the point of intersection. The apparatus needed for this experiment are white sheet of paper, slotted weight with hangers, you need to have an unknown weight, a scale, compass, a pencil, plane, mirror, a thread and this is the main component for this experiment. This is called as Gravesand's apparatus. You have pulley over here. It is over these two pulleys that this thread has to be passed over. Place a white sheet of paper firmly on the wooden board and fix it with drawing pins. Take a thread and pass it over the pulley with equal weights, say around 100 or 150 grams to both ends and let this weight hangers be referred as P and Q. So here we have attached around 150 grams. A third string is attached and tied to the middle of this string. An unknown weight is attached to a third string which is tied to the middle of the third string and you can mark this point as O. So this is the unknown weight. You can mark this point as O. Place a mirror strip beneath the thread and mark the points with the pencil at the edges of the mirror where its image coincides. Now place a mirror strip beneath the thread and mark the points with the pencil at the edges of the mirror where its image coincides. So here you can see this point and this point coincides. Similarly, we have to repeat this procedure of placing the mirror beneath the thread for the other two threads that is this thread and this thread and mark the points where the images of the thread coincides with the actual thread. So you can see these are the points marked. So after placing the mirror beneath the thread, these are the points that you had marked. can remove the paper from the board by releasing the pins and place the paper on the table. Here we take 1 cm to be equal to 25 gram weight and as per the experimental setup we had seen that at the ends of P and Q we had suspended 
150 gram weight each so here we can say that 150 gram weight can be equal to the 6 cm so the scale factor here is 1 cm is equal to 25 gram weight now after placing the paper on the table we can join the marked points with a scale and assuming a known scale of 25 grams we can mark OA and OB as 6 cm to represent P and Q as 150 gram weight we can join the marked points with a pencil and a scale Now measure the either sides of the O with a scale. So we can mark this as O So if I measure here So we can take 6 cm here because 150 gram weight was equal to the 6 cm So we mark a point over here and mark it as B and again on this line we can measure 6 cm and mark it as A. So this line represents Q sorry P and this line represents Q. Now we have to draw a arc from point B and A and mark it as C. For drawing an arc from point B and point A we have to measure 6 cm on a compass using a scale. So here we have got 6 cm measured on the scale and now place it on point B and draw an arc. In the same way place it on point A and draw an arc. Now we have to complete the parallelogram. We can write this point as point C. So we will have a parallelogram O B C A. So we can complete the parallelogram. Now we can draw OC and measure it. So here we can see that the OC is equal to approximately 9.4 centimeter. So here I can write here. OC is equal to 9.4 centimeter. So we can complete the observation and the calculation. So here the scale factor as we have decided, so it is 1 centimeter is equal to 25 gram weight. So the suspended weights over the two pulleys which represent P and Q. So we have seen that P was 150 gram weight and similarly Q was also 150 gram weight. We measured OA 
as 6 cm similarly OP was measured also as 6 cm and OC the diagonal was measured to be around 9.4 cm so to calculate the weight of the body it is OC into scale factor so that is 9.4 into 25 so we get an answer of 235 gram weight similarly we can record observations for the other two columns and then take the B so for this example we can say that the unknown weight of the given body is 235 gram weight